Hello, this is Larry Tentarelli. I'm a full-time trader and the editor and publisher of the Blue Chip Daily Trend Report with a brief educational video. We're going to take a look at a chart idea that I posted for subscribers on May 12th. So just under three months ago in ABMD, a biomed, it is a medical devices stock. And the idea is up 59% since it went on the best ideas list. But what I'm going to focus on is what, what the signal was and what the chart was uh, at the time. So the, the close over the 200 day moving average, and we're gonna take a look at this in a second, but the close over the 200 day, put it on the radar screen, and then the close over 190 actually gave the buy signal. So we'll take a look at it to start with. We're gonna take a look at the weekly chart and the daily chart in just a, a minute or so, but we'll get started. So May 12, 8.15 in the morning. So I put it on the daily best ideas list. So, so I will post from one to a maximum of two uh, daily best ideas across the universe of stocks that I cover. So ABMD went on there with the close was at 194.61. And then the stop level at the time was, was 165.41. And what I do is I run an intermediate to longer term trend following program. So the stops tend to be a little bit wider. The time frame is a little bit longer than most. The holding period is longer uh, than average, but the average position return is significantly higher than average. So we'll take a look at the chart. So May 12th, put it on the best ideas list. Now going back to April 30 on our members daily trend report, is when I first highlighted ABMD, when it reclaimed the 200-day moving average. And then we'll, so we'll take a look at a couple charts. So we'll start with the weekly chart. So ABMD broke down below the 40-week moving average. Now I use moving averages extensively. Some people do, some people don't. I, I use them extensively and I've had a lot of success over the years with them because I use them consistently. But in either case, so ABMD, broke down below the 40 week, which is the equivalent of the 200 day moving average. Going back to late 2018, and then we can see the, the 40 week moving average rolled over, which, which is one sign of a primary downtrend. And then we can just look at the stock price itself as it made a series of, of lower highs, it made a series of lower lows. It, it tried to consolidate here and broke down, tried to consolidate here and broke down again. So eventually it, it put in a low and then it started to turn higher. So when it closed over the 200 day moving average, and we'll take a look at the daily chart. So it closed over the 200 day moving average at the end of April. And this is when I highlighted it in our nightly video and put it on the daily trend report that, that ABMD was now on the radar screen. So over the 200 day moving average is the first signal. So I was looking for some consolidation because it had a pretty sharp move. So that day it went from 170 to it looks like almost 200. But this was, this was what put it on the radar screen, especially with the high volume. Consolidated a little bit. And what I wanted to see it do was, was close over 190. So on this bar here was the close over 190. Went on to the best ideas list the next day at 194 and change. So the stop was at 165, which was down here, which was a 15% stop, which in a very volatile market, and at the time this was a mid cap stop, a 15% stop, 10 to 15% is customary for many trend following programs. But what I wanted to do at a bare minimum is be sure that the stop had some cushion underneath the 200 day moving average because that was a key signal. So within the next few days, it tested the 200 day moving average. And then it's pretty much been on, on a straight move higher since then. So as of yesterday's close, it's up 59% since it went on the best ideas list. But what, what the key thing here is from a technical standpoint is I keep my moving average process consistent. So rolling over below this declining 40 week moving average is not a place that I want to be long. And then we can see it is right after it reclaimed the 40 week, the 40 week started to flatten out and now it started to turn higher. So what this, what this signifies from a trend perspective is the stock's gone from a, a primary downtrend 
the 40 week started to flatten out. And then once, once the 40 week moving average turns higher and it's back over the 40 week, this, this confirms each other. And what this shows now is that the longer term downtrend is now starting to turn into a longer term uptrend. So a, a key combination is the close over the 40 week. And then once it starts to turn higher, this indicates now that the trend has moved to the upside. So this was a, a very simple and a clean close over the 40 week, had a retest and then close back over 190, which was the signal. And then the stop was far enough below. But the key thing just from looking at the charts is you can see, and this is something that I've spoken about on Twitter for uh, seven and a half years now, is it doesn't have to be very complicated. With, with moving averages, and one reason that I use them, it is they're black and white. They're, there's no interpretation. Either the stock price is above the moving average or it's below, and it tends to give some clean signals and then always correct the stop placement underneath to give the position room to work. But that's been a, a pretty clean example. Over the 200-day, held the 200-day test, started to move higher, the 200 day start, start to flatten out and turn higher, the 50 day and all and the other moving averages also had turned higher. So this is a, a very good example of how using just a pure moving average and breakout signal can lead to, to a very big advance. Now, obviously the stop was down below it at 15%. Uh, if it would have gotten hit, then it would have gotten hit. But this has been a, a very big move so far. We have a lot of subscribers that are in this position and, and have been in it for a while. So this has turned out to be a very nice move uh, so far, but I wanted to go over that. A couple things quickly, just in review. So my website is Blue Chip Daily Trend Report. Bluechipdaily.com is the URL. I do have to touch base on the disclaimer, which says that everything in the video is for informational purposes only. If you go to the 2020 best trade alerts page, you can see I've got blogs and charts for, for quite a few ideas. Trade Desk was our chart of the day, May 26th. Livongo is an open position that recently hit plus 100% in five weeks. But you can go through and see a lot more analysis of some recent trade ideas and open trade positions. Also, we've got a separate tab for videos. If you just want to dial right into the videos, we've got a YouTube channel that you can see that. And then if you're interested in further benefits for the website, so a couple things. I've got a premium Twitter feed that I'm on basically all day, every day, updating it, ideas for uh, subscribers in real time. We've got a real time email notification and Twitter updates anytime I, I take a new position. We've got a 24 seven uh, real time tracking spreadsheet. And every, every uh, market day, I send out a daily video and trend report for subscribers with daily, with daily best ideas. And then also we've got a weekly trend report, top 20 list, and a weekly video as well. So we are actively accepting new subscribers. I hope this video uh, took you a little bit through the process and explained a little bit about how I use moving averages. Thank you.